What's up? <laughs> hey everybody, how we doing? Welcome on into the weekly Planet Z community showcase. We got a big one today. We got a big one. I guess that's what you get uh, when I cancel three of them. Was it like two or three of them in a stinking row there? Uh, yeah, that's what you get. But anyways, yeah, welcome in everyone. Hope you all had a good Christmas there if you do celebrate. If not, I hope you had a good Saturday. I know I had a good one, a surprising, a really surprising one actually. Uh, we kind of said as a family we weren't going to do many gifts, and to my mom that means, oh, get all the gifts. Um, but yeah, she surprised us uh, yesterday, surprised me with a really awesome gift of an Oculus. I got the, uh, so my first VR system I've ever gotten. Um, but yeah, I got an Oculus, was it? Quest 2? Yeah, that's what it's called. There it is. The Oculus Quest 2. So I've been, my last like basically 24 hours, it feels like has been in VR, <laughs> trying to figure all that kind of stuff off, uh, stuff out and everything. So yeah, that's been pretty fun there. But how we doing everyone? Let me look at chat. Where's chat? Oh, there it is. I had it all minimized and stuff there. Oh, hi everyone. What's up, Bestie? Bestie likes turtles. Of course he does. He, of course he does. What's up, Zebras? Thanks for hanging out there. What's up, Lion Rider? You jealous of the Oculus? It's pretty cool. It's pretty nifty. Pretty nifty though. What's up, Jay Rassic? Good to see you. What's up, Harry? We got a blueprint from Harry today. Siri Gaming. We, of course, have a lot of stuff from Siri Gaming today in the form of dinos. Is it now nah, you don't need that? Yeah, I didn't even like the getting a VR system, the Oculus wasn't even on like my radar, not even on my, you know, stratosphere, basically. And just out of nowhere, like, okay. Um, but yeah, so that's the, she likes to do that kind of stuff. So, what's up, Rob? Good to see you, buddy. Yeah, all the sauropods chilling there, right? They would, uh, they would probably not like this in real life, but you know, in the game, they're just like, yeah, whatever. I'll hang out, you know, next to my, uh, my, my cousins. So, but yeah. Anyways, let's go ahead and yeah, let's go ahead and jump into it and check it out because we have a lot of stuff to go through today, a whole lot. And yeah, we're gonna go and start with the dinos. There are the mods. There's just the majority of them are dinos still from uh, Sib CDC there. So cool. Let's go ahead and jump into it. And we'll kick it off here with the Apatosaurus. Apatosaurus. A pot of what? Apatosaurus. So here we go. Here's Brenly, the female Apatosaurus, which is going to be. Oh, they're all out of order. Of course they are. Oh, they're all Sib CDC. I don't even know why I'm trying to look at who made these. They're all Sib CDC. So you better get ready. That's right. You're on deck there, um, Zebras. So there you go. There is the uh, female version. And here is the male. I thought the male was pretty cool had the uh, kind of green uh, tint to it, or the green skin to it. Very nice. A potato-saurus. Okay, I like, a, I like a potato-saurus better. I know that's not what you put there, Jurassic, but uh, the first glance I saw was a potato-saurus, so we're gonna do that. Next up, I can pronounce this one. We have the Central European Wild Boar. And this is pretty dang cool. This is gonna be from uh, Leaf and Mega Gaming Rex. A whole bunch of stuff from uh, Leaf today, but this is gonna be the first one, the Central European uh, Wild Boar. So this goes really, really well with, you know, the new uh, Europe pack that came out. Actually, we have a whole bunch of stuff that uh, goes really, really well with the new Europe pack animals. If you download the modded Europe, uh, Europe pack animals that you see today and add them with the Europe pack official base game uh, or official DLC uh, you'll get like an animal pack out of it I think you get like eight or nine animals in total so yeah here's the uh, the boars looks pretty awesome pretty dang awesome next up <laughs> I'm a potato <laughs> what's up Jonathan good to see you buddy all the European stuff we uh, we put out the day before the Europe pack yeah exactly they only go hand in hand you know they go hand in hand. Oh, there we go. Let's do the, the classic there, the Brachia. The Brachiosaurus. Standing tall and majestic. So there you go. Awesome looking. Not going to look at the other uh, variation because they both look exactly the same. And we have a lot of the uh, similar looking dinos to get through today. Uh, we have the Camera... Camera... Camera. Yeah, let's do Camerasaurus. Camara... Camarasaurus. There you go. So wait, what kind of uh, dinos are these called? Sauropods? Is that what it is? These are all called sauropods. I've been playing a lot of Jurassic World Evolution 2, which don't like throw eggs at me too hard, but like is a really fun game. <laughs> I know that there's like a, a stigma about JWE2 
from creative players that's oh it's a bad game blah 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 yeah sure creatively it's a bad game but it's not that kind of game it's a management game and it's from from a management perspective it's a really really fun game there's a, here's a better look at it uh next mod up though we have the south china tiger no swimming tiger no swimming for you get out of the water we want to see you in your uh your glory here so we have the south china tiger and this is going to be from havoc 1199 gaboy and mega gaming uh rex do, do you think it's the uh, death star for christmas this year oh there's always next year there's always next year so there you go really really nice tiger uh, model to add in or subspecies very nice next up i know i'm going a little bit quick today but that's because we have a lot to get through so if i do go a little bit quick uh apologies but again we have a lot of fun stuff to get through today let's check out next the uh dracorix Dracorex. Oh, I just um, adopted one of these things in my JWE2 park. I should have uh, remembered how they pronounced it. What's up there, Adam, up in Virginia? Here's the female of the Dracorex. This is from SibCDC. Again, all the dinosaurs are from SibCDC. So if I don't mention it, just assume that it's from SibCDC. <laughs> and here's the female uh, variant. So different uh, skins. Awesome stuff. Next up, we have the Dreadnoughtus. Or the Dreadnought? Yeah, the Dreadnoughtus. I think that's how you say it. Dreadnoughtus there. And this one, oh no, this is the one. Uh, this one is freaking huge. Is this like the biggest of the sor? The, what did you say it was? Soro Soropods. Soropods. Sauropods. I'm, I'm from Chicago, so we say all of our A's like, eh. <laughs> <laughs> so I pronounce it eh. Sauropods. Is this the biggest of the uh, those? Because it looks like it. It's crazy. Use the artwork to make those. That explains why it does circles sometimes. So yeah, here it goes. It's starting to do it. So sometimes it does th that. Whoa. Sometimes it does this. I don't know if it that's known or if there's like, you know, if there's anything you can do about it. Hey, Peter, what's up, buddy? Um. But it, it does that sometimes. Not a lot though, so not really that big a deal, but yeah. So there's that. Let's look at the next big guy there, big girl. There it is, the yellow, oh, okay, so we're gonna uh, back off the dinosaurs for a little bit. Dude, that's the first time you've seen that happening. The sauropods are on the elephant rig, oh. The head-banging Brock. Yeah, the head-banging dinosaur right there. That's pretty awesome. <laughs> uh, next up, we have the yellow-backed Duker. Duker! I love the, the name Duker. It just it just feels like it needs to be yelled. Uh, the yellow-backed Duker! Uh, and that's going to be from Leaf. Leaf did this one solo dolo there. There's a, <laughs> the, there's a big old dinosaur blocking the sun there. But look at the uh, really cool coloration there of the little like spot on top of its head. Looks really cool. I didn't even notice this yellow on the back there. It almost looks like a uh, like a reverse bumblebee kind of pattern. So nice, cool, cool, cool. Oh, and here's the other one. Here's the other one. Looks pretty much the same. Male, female, yeah. Yep. Next up. Oh, hey BHK. Yeah, you didn't miss too much. Just some uh, some of the mods, but we haven't done anything else except for mods so far. Uh, we have the Eurasian Otter, going back to the Europe pack add-on type stuff, which is basically, these are the animals that should have been in the uh, Europe pack. It feels a little bit bigger, <laughs> but here's the, oh, look at that. It looks awesome. Eurasian Otter. That's really cool that we get to see it uh, doing its swimming animation. I love the, uh, the webbed feet. I can't remember if the um, other otters, I'm sure all otters have webbed feet, but these are just really pronounced. Very cool. That's why it's called yellow backs. Yeah, I, I get the name now. <laughs> I get the name now. I caught up. Uh, next up, we have the Mexican Agouti. Wait, no. We did the Mexican Agouti like a while ago. False alarm. We did the Mexican Agouti a while ago. We'll go look at the last community showcase to see the Mexican Agouti. Let's go back to the dinos. 
Let's go back to the dinos. All right, we have the uh, homolocephal. Homolocephal? File? I don't know. This thing. Look at this. It's a little thing. Oh, look how it walks. Like hops. <laughs> Probably has like a big old hard head. It looks like one of those um, hard headed dinos. I can't think of the name of that one either. I'm awesome with dinosaur names, as you can tell. Uh, a really cool looking model there to add in. Do 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 do. Next one, we have the Mimasaurus. Oh no, the Mamanchi Mimasaurus. Let's just go with that one. It's another really long necked one. So here's another long necked one. It looks like it's a little bit smaller in size overall compared to some of the other ones. You like that smooth loop-de-loop? -loop? I know, it's perfect, right? I spent hours uh, crafting it. So within this group of dinos there, you can you can go ahead and find the, the one that we were just talking about. <laughs> they all kind of start to run together after a little bit. I know that, that dinosaur nerds love them all, but for, for me, they all start to kind of run together a little bit as, yeah, the real big long-necked one. Next up, let's go to the Eurasian Beaver. This is going to be from Nicholas Lion Rider and Leaf there. Leaf Arunian Lion Rider. Oh, they made a Jesus one. Okay, there you go. But yeah, you have the Eur Eurasian Beaver. Look at that. I can just see it swimming. Love it. Really good compliment to the Europe pack. The one burying his hand, head in the sand is amazing. He's taken after his um, ostrich cousins and stuff, right? Oh my gosh, there's one swimming. Get out. <laughs> That's awesome looking. The uh, Eurasian beaver there from Lion Rider and Leaf. Hey, Becca. Happy day after Christmas to you. Uh, let's go to the Pachycephalosaurus. Pachycephalosaurus. Got it. Nailed it. Boom. We can call the stream a success because I got one dinosaur name pretty dang close. Oh, these are the ones I kind of know because of their big old weird looking noggin there. Now you have to check if the elephant does that too sometimes. Oh, the bobbin and weaving. Yeah, it's like it's it's on like a gimbal or something like that. This one's cool looking. I really like the um, look at this one. Huh, look at the, the little, little one looking up at it. <laughs> Nice, there you go from Sip CDC. Again, don't forget if I don't mention the name of the creator for the mod and it's a dinosaur, it's it's Sib. It's Sib CDC or Siri in game uh in chat there. Next one, let's do the Brolga. Oh, this is the uh crane looking bird. The crane looking bird. Um from Bongo. This is from Bongo Hardwood. Oh look, we get two different variations. Land in. Oh, they're both in water now. But these are beautiful. Look at this. Look at this. So these would be really, really cool to get into your... Um, and he, he did, yeah, I agree. Bongo like, always does really, really high quality uh, stuff. It, it takes um, a little bit longer for them to upload stuff, but when they do, it's like, hey, Bongo uploaded something. <laughs> oh, the sauropods are the same way I say about the animals as well. All the types of wolves are basically the same. Right, like doggos, right? Just, just doggos. <laughs> But yeah, no, again, really, really good. I don't to spend a little bit more time on this, but it's a really, really high quality uh, mod there. So be sure to check that one out from Bongo Hardwood. Next up, uh, Red Fox. I think we've taken a look at this one before or uh, maybe someone else's model of it. Um, but really uh, glad that they, um, who is this, Leaf? Red Fox, Red Fox. Come in, Red Fox. Red Fox, come in, Red Fox. Oh shoot, where is it? Here it is, uh, Leaf, Loaf Hound, and Gaboy. They're kind of taking a little bit of a swim here. <clears throat> Let's get one out of the water. Um, so yeah, again, I think we've taken a look at these before, but I think they've been updated. So really glad that they sent it back in to get a look at the Red Fox. Look at the eyes. Beautiful. Love this crane mod, isn't it great? Yeah, it, uh, Bongo did a really good job. Get out of the ground. Get out of the ground. I'm a wolf on him. No, you're definitely different there, Estian. You're special. You're the most special wolf of all. Estian's mom told him he was too special growing up. That's why he turned out the way he did. 
He's swimming in the grass. He is swimming in the grass. Underground glitch is a Europe update thing. Sorry. Oh, is it? Okay. Yeah. Well, as long as it's uh, y'all know about it. I didn't know if it was just a. Uh, I don't know what. Yeah. <clears throat> right on. Next up. Still the 1.7 version. It may be. Yeah. I uh, I just downloaded the mods as they were presented on the Discord there. All right. Let's go to the big chungus here. What is it? How do you actually say it? Chung King Osaurus. Chung King Osaurus. What a name that is. But yeah, I'm calling it the Big Chungus. So uh, here's the Big Chungasaurus here. Chungasaurus Rex from SubCDC. <laughs> I can't get over the one in the background. Uh, both of them are taking a little nappy poo. It's, I guess it's nap time in the middle of the day, but we're going to wake one up. We'll wake him up. Get him walking around there. You got to fix up every animal. Oh, it was one of those updates, huh? Always fun. Look at that. That's crazy looking. I love the uh, the color of it. That orange. Oh god, he just got stuck in rip. Rip big chungus. 2021 to 2021. We barely knew you. Uh next up. Next up, we have the oh Gigantospinosaurus. It's kind of similar to Big Chungus, except it has these awesome like back what do you call these? Horns, I guess you'd say. Are they like considered horns? Or would you consider these like back fins or whatever? Uh, but yeah, I love the way that these look. Almost looks like a, uh, a Carnotaurus. Is that right? Is that the one? I'm starting to learn my dinosaurs a little bit. The Carnotaurus has those like devil horns sticking out of it. That's what it kind of reminds me of here on its back. Bad respect for the modders who do updates to make the mods work so well. Same, yes, big time. Big time. I think everyone uh, definitely understands that, you know, when an update happens, we got to wait sometimes to get them updated and up to par so no worries on any little bugs or anything like that it is expected and we are all patient all right let's take a look here at the next one so we had big chungus gigantospinosaurus spine spikes would work okay yeah and let's go next to the hewing hewingosaurus which is another of the Stega family, right? Stega. Oh, your back kind of looks like it broke. But yeah, here's the Huey Lewis and the Newsosaurus. What are you actually called? Huey Youngus. No, I like my Huey. Huey Lewis and the Newsosaurus. He's who likes to spin around in circles. He has mad cow disease, so it just kind of spins around in circles all day. It's all right. It's all right. So those look really cool. Next up, getting near the end of the mods here, I believe. Yep, because there's the Huey Lewis and the Newsosaurus. Uh, here's the Kentrosaurus, another of the Stega family. Love all the different variations of uh, sor sauropods, there it is, and the Stega family. What is the Stegosaurus family? Because that's one I obviously you know know from this type of look here. Really cool. Again, if anyone's making a park or, you know, a, a Jurassic Park or Jurassic World out of all these different mods, do let me know. I'd love to take a look at it someday on the uh, on the stream. Uh, and then we have the Stigmiolock. Stigmiolock. Oh, this one looks pretty. It does. Look at this one. If the scenery mods broke, you'd be screwed. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, I have uh, only the most current build I'm doing. <clears throat> Excuse me the uh europe pack bill this is really nice looking by the way sip uh has mods in it but yeah i would be screwed too because i'm using a roof from the european midnight pack on like all my buildings so <laughs> it's the stegosaurus family oh, okay so the stegosaurus was like yo listen up everyone this is my family all the rest of you can flip off making it mine all right and then we have oh god God. Then we have the oh last one the Eurasian moose or the European elk to kind of round us off today for the mods. Look how great this is. Who's this from? This is a uh, Leaf and Lion Rider. Yeah, Leaf and Lion Rider. They were on a roll these past few weeks with the uh, Europe animals. Oh, low bridge. <laughs> but look how great this looks. So it's uh, a little bit different variation. It's a darker 
Cool. I think it looks like than the North American one that we have. And also, I got lucky enough to get a... There it is, swimming along. You can't miss it. Also got an albino. I think it's because I have the Planet Zoo Plus mod installed. Which Oh yeah, we have two more mods to look at. They're both uh, it's kind of scenery and game overhaul mods. But yeah, I think it's because I have that I was able to get the albino because I never get albino ones there. Uh, will you do Planet Coaster again? No, probably not. I don't think so. Uh, we'll wait for Planet Coaster 2 to hopefully come out or a successor to it. So, um, but let's take a look here. Um, you have the collared peccary in this map? Nope. Where's the collared peccary? Oh, the yeah, you're right. Where is it? Where is it? I was like, nope. <laughs> I didn't download it. Ah, it's right there. All right, uh, I didn't install it in the zoo. Good catch. All right, we will fast forward. There they go. Look at these little dudes. <laughs> these are great. It was the only mod I made totally from scratch. Oh, really? Totally from scratch, really? Damn. So yeah, the collared peccary there. Was it just you? Uh, Leaf and Lion Rider. Yeah, Leaf and Lion Rider made these little dudes. Look at them. <laughs> pig boys. Yeah, pig boys coming on down. Look at them. They are. They're strutting their stuff marching down. Bump, 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 bump. Pig boy, bump, bump, bump. Pig boy, bump, bump, bump. Pig boy, pig boy, pig boy, pig boy, pig boy, bump, bump. There's the pig boy anthem. All right, cool. Let's take a look at the, <laughs> the last two mods we have here. Uh, we may as well get it over with it back here. So as you can tell... Uh, yeah, there's a little bit of something something going on in the background there. You did everything. You did the texturing, modeling, sculpting, rigging, animations. Wow, uh, good job on that. Looks really good. Mainly because I was able to make the Pig Boy song out of it. Um, so yeah, if you haven't already, uh, be sure to look into... This is the Planet Zoo Plus mod. And this is from Giorno Pizza, Buff Zoo, and Leaf. And it doesn't only turn all of your railroads and you know uh, other transport items into roller coasters if you want to take a look at a closer look at it here uh we are able to affect the you know the speed and everything like that so now it goes the fastest speed yeah see ya <laughs> so you can do that kind of fun stuff there uh, but also they did a really big update for it for update 1.8 uh, and i'm just going to kind of read through it because there's a there's kind of a lot a lot of it has to do with like little minuscule animal update things so i'm just going to kind of read through here actually i'll bring you over so you can kind of see what's going on Boop. so yeah we'll kind of uh, quickly run through it here and let you see what's going on so all animals require far less space than before i tried to use guidelines from animal husbandry uh, manuals for every species in the game but still had them require some more spaces just so there's still some challenge there this fixes weird things in the game like the polar bears requirements uh, biggest change roller coasters just showed that off um, some of the so a lot of these things were in the update or in planet zoo plus beforehand I want to get to the newer kind of stuff um, here it is adds new props uh, to the game the zen pebbles and toxic waste barrels which we'll go take a look at in just a second uh, these will not work the same as other other new scenery mods which when removed make games crash when planet zoo plus is removed you can still load into maps just fine with no crashes whatsoever these scenery items are scrapped and re-implemented via coding so that's really cool i think that is really really cool that um y'all are starting or modders are starting to uh make it so yeah if you don't have scenery mods inside your uh, parks that it crashes the whole thing because uh, that's kind of the bad thing with scenery mods at the moment so that's really really cool um but yeah i'm gonna leave it um here for just a second so if you want to pause the stream and look at all the other big updates for planet z plus go ahead and take a look but it does a lot of um affecting of animal sizes uh, does a lot of um manipulation of like plant requirements make some plants uh, in different biomes so that you can place more um natural native plants in with different animals uh, it does a lot of really really nice overhauls and um yeah just overhauls to the to the game and everything like that that's uh uh really really neato there so definitely check out the planet zoo plus mod from all of the 
Awesome modders. And here's uh, some more of the items there. Here's the Zen Garden. We got a lot of really cool pieces here. Wild well, is right in the wilderness. That's right. So here's the uh, Zen Garden pieces. And then here's also the Toxic Waste barrels, which I thought was kind of random, but you know, it's, they look really nice. They look really nice. Hypothetically, you could just make a blueprint of the Zen Pebbles and let everyone uh, download them even without downloading the mod itself. See, that's that's pretty awesome. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. Which Planet Coaster DLCs do you recommend? This is Planet Zoo, buddy. <laughs> this is a Planet Zoo stream. Um, uh, seems they were scrapped maybe just because the quality wasn't really up to par for full release of them. Interesting. Huh. So there you go. But let's go ahead and take a look at the rest of the scenery mods and stuff like that here. The last one is going to be something that we have looked at in the past, but it did get a nice um, update. And that's going to be the, where the heck is the official name? Oh, here's the Palm Prop Pack uh, from Lion Rider. So yeah, again, we did take a look at uh, some of these items from this pack um, a few months back. It's primarily, I think, these ones. But Nicholas Lion Rider has gone ahead and gave us some really, really heckin' useful trees and foliage here. So uh, yeah, the first little bits here are the green fever trees. So we have the green fever tree regular and then the dry fever tree. These look so good. These are up there with, um, well, we were kind of talking about it in um, Lion Rider. I think you said you agreed that um, some of the palm pack or the trees from the palm pack kind of stood out as like being really sharp in their texture and kind of other stuff like that. Um, but yeah, it looks like it kind of reined that in a little bit and they kind of have that planet zoo quality to them now. So um, whatever you did, it looks great. <laughs> uh, you can you can scrap the old crappy palms. I'm gonna redo them at some point. Okay, okay, nice. Uh, so uh, what he's talking about are these right here. These are the older ones here, and you can definitely tell. Actually, you can see what I was talking about. Um, where they don't look bad, you know. They're just they're not really the planet uh, zoo, I guess, style or quality, quote unquote. Um, so yeah, these almost look more like prehistoric kingdom type trees compared to these in the back. So yeah, no, you get some new uh, bamboo. You get the golden bamboo. Uh, there's some new um, overall trees and everything. But yeah, it looks really, really nice there. Uh, and yeah, like you said, he's going to redo a lot of the palms as well. So very, very good stuff there. <laughs> no, it's not, uh, Harry. Sorry to say, buddy. It's not moist at all. No. So there you go, there is all of the mods. Awesome job to all of our modders. And uh, yeah, next week, don't forget, we're gonna be looking at some more dinosaurs. Sim CDC is already on it with uh, more dinos in the pipeline there. So uh, join back next week for some more dinos, everything. So <laughs> nice, but cool. Let's go ahead and take a look at the um, blueprint items. And it's a, kind of a good thing that we waited, I think, to show off a lot of these things because it's a lot of holiday, a lot of Christmas uh, themed items. And yeah, I think it's kind of fun that we're looking at them on, you know, the day after. <gasps> oh, excuse me. Uh, the day after Christmas. Very timely, right? So from Becca Boo, we have... Scroll up there. There we go. Your favorite Christmas display from Prekaboo. And I love this. Look at this. Really good use of the Arctic pack and a lot of the new uh, Europe pack pieces. And yeah, you get this really, really nice display that you can put inside of your uh, holiday parks or your Christmas parks there. So you also have some really exciting prop mods. I can't wait to show off in the next few weeks. Can't wait to look at them. Can't wait. Cannot wait. So yeah, really good stuff there uh, from Bekaboo. <laughs> I love saying Bekaboo's name. I love how the roofs are candy canes. Yeah, right? That's a nice little touch there. It's a nice touch. Next up from Peter. We got from Peter Leader. This is a continuation, a, um, a next step there in the Animal Passport sign pack from Peter. And yeah, Peter's made one for every single animal in the zoo. And look at this. Look at the detail on all of these. So these are just some examples here. But just look at the detail. It has all of them done out like this for you so yeah if you would like to add in an amazing bit of billboard detail do be sure to download these um from the workshop there there's yeah these are really good aren't they yeah they add a lot of life to like your interior areas or again like your educational uh areas next to um the keepers and stuff but so, yeah really really good yeah love these passports yep really useful if you're uh, if you're not using them be sure to get on them and use all those passports there i like how you uh, added in the decals around there it adds some nice life to the uh <laughs> to it there so cool next up from lucas 
we're actually seeing a lot of stuff from Lucas today. Um, we have the, oops, let me get my notes back up. There we go. Custom doors from Lucas 070. And yeah, look at these. Some great custom doors for your buildings to add in there. Do, 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 do. So yeah, for every kind of thing you need, you got these kind of cool modern doors, these kind of glass doors, and then like some backstage looking doors. But yeah, there you go, some cool custom doors to add in to, uh, you download those earlier? Nice. <laughs> Next up. Yeah, good job, Peter. Yeah, your billboards are a hit. Uh, next up, from Christina, the... Oh, jeez, if I get my mouse wheel, I'll stop freaking out. These are great here. These are great. Uh, this is the classical font uh, from Christina here. And this goes really well with um, Ricey. Ricey also did a really great classical font, uh, but they're both a little bit different from each other. But yeah, look at how great this looks. And this is par part of uh, Christina and Haribo and a few others' uh, joint project of making Tivoli. Like a Tivoli Garden, so really good uh, stuff there. Yeah, very fancy, right? Mm, fancy. Next up, Lion Rider. There you go. Lion Rider is not just a modder there. He also dabbles in the building of uh, here and there. <laughs> not here and there. He does a lot of really great builds. But uh, yeah, you actually uh, could have seen a uh, full build of this from his return stream. What was it? Three days ago? Two days ago? Um, but yeah, uh, Lion Rider is back making some awesome content and mods and everything. And there's a uh, this set here, this kind of Mexico um, broken down set. You can see it, this all put together in uh, in the stream they did a few days ago. But anyways, we have three separate pieces here from the Mexican flag. Really well done. The, what did you officially call this? Destroyed Spanish wall. And the hot wire fence. There it is. I knew there's three of them. So yeah, and the hot wire fence here. So yeah, really cool stuff. You can make a really cool habitat using this uh, kind of destroyed Spanish wall. Just kind of all these put together. Um, you can make a really cool looking habitat there. So yeah, really good stuff there from Lion Rider. Hey, Emma, Merry Christmas to you as well. Hope it was a great day. Is um, each font made of a lot of pieces? It might be. I'll, I'll take a look real quick. So not really 47, you know, 75. What would it be another? The Q might have a lot. 95 for the Q. 30. So you put them together. If you have like a bigger word and... It uses a lot of cues, then it's a lot of pieces, but really not too bad for like a good like entrance area. Oh gosh, excuse me, I just ate before I did the stream and now I'm paying for it. <laughs> Next up, would they use my chance? Oh yeah, that's what I did want to look at that too. So for the variety of pieces Christina used, European LED sign wall support. Oh, so that thing a little bit. Oh, that thing a lot of it. Oh, the very tip of it. Oh, my Lanta. Yep. They're all used using those brackets. Holy shnikes. <laughs> yeah, aren't the decals good? Yeah, a little. they're kind of hidden in there, but it makes it look uh, really nicely destroyed. Hey, Moonlight. Welcome in, buddy. Here we have, uh, next up, we have the Badger Cottage. And the Badger Cottage is coming to you from Eden, right? I believe it's Eden. Yeah, Eden Moon. There we go. Uh, yeah, from Eden Moon 3. So here we go, the Badger Cottage. You have the nice burrow hanging out there. I love those new burrows. They're pretty useful. Uh, look at this little, um, a little shed out back. That's cool. Then you have the house here with their little like garden in the back. You can get some really cool uh, interior shots here. There you go. Yep. You have the billboards everywhere. Is there an interior here? Nope. But you could put a shop in there or something. But this is really cool looking. I, I love the contrast of this little like uh, European shack with the dinosaurs hanging out in the background. So there you go. There's the Badger Cottage. Really nice addition to everyone's zoos there. I did hear you. You're right. <laughs> he caught me. Next up, we have the, we have a few things here from BHK. I know BHK is in chat there. Uh, so yeah, this is gonna be from their Alpine build that we're gonna go ahead and take a look at uh, in just a little bit actually. So the first one is going to be the, um, oh, I'm gonna mispronounce it and I apologize. 
the Alpine, oh no, this is the Alpine Garage. I can pronounce that one. So <laughs> we have the Alpine Garage. There you go, very, very nice. Put all of your backstage vehicles in there or something. And then next to it, we have the one that I'm gonna mispronounce. The Alpen Kassenspatzel Restaurant. I don't know that felt right like when I said it, like Kassenspatzel. <laughs> but I don't know what all the dots and stuff mean, so you know. Uh, yeah, this utilizes the new restaurant system really well. I like that you put it behind glass and everything. Oh yeah, it's really nice in there, nice interior. So good job there from BHK. Next up from, oh, Harry. It's Harry's time to shine. Or in other words, known as a man covered in bees <laughs> on Steam. So uh, are the war starts working for people now? Not that I've seen, I don't believe an update has come out yet. Um, but this is gonna be the Gladiator Franked by a man covered in bees. Look at this. Look at this. He has built us a Gladiator Frank for reasons unknown. But we're glad that Harry has done that for us. So thank you, Harry, for the Gladiator Frank. <laughs> uh, next to Gladiator Frank. Oh, I have this turned the wrong way. It's okay. Um, from Adam Up. Yeah, this is really cool. From Adam Up, we have uh, Santos Grotto. These last two builds actually go together really well. Uh, yeah, we have Santos Grotto from Adam Up here. So again, for all of your kind of holiday Christmas parks, add that in. Like all the details of the different colored uh, wood panels. Dang, did you build all the sleigh and everything? Holy cow. Hey, Silver Fox, you made it in. Hope your uh, time with family was good. I believe that's what you were doing. But really cool, I love this Santa's Grotto here. Imagine putting it in like a, like a polar build. And then next to it, almost similar colors, but we have from Simply Savannah, we have the uh, Christmas Reindeer Barn. I believe she built this on stream a few weeks back as well. So if you want to go back on her channel and catch the build live, you can. But yeah, a really nice addition to any holiday Christmas zoo. We have the uh, Simply Savannah's Reindeer Barn. It's part of a project you're doing? Awesome, Harry. Can't wait to see it. So very good stuff there. So hey, cool. Awesome stuff there from everyone. Very, uh, you know, Christmas theme and... Uh, for a lot of the builds today, also had the really great billboards, some great custom doors, some new uh, fonts that y'all should be using. Uh, Lion Rider using really great decal bits in the destroyed uh, Spanish wall. This Badger Cottage is really cool little uh, exhibit to put in. And yeah, we got the Alpine European kind of vibe there with the chalets and stuff. So really cool stuff there from the workshop items and the mods. So yeah, a lot of uh, fun stuff to check out there for uh, for everyone. We get Ebix's, uh, Lucas's Ebix build. It was listed, but not. Oh, you know what? That was, um, I mislabeled that. It's actually a zoo. So we're going to look at that uh, probably now. I'll have to remember to fix that in the, uh, in the background there. Uh, all right, let's go ahead and start. Uh, yeah, let's start with that one, actually. A very outdated Ebex habitat. And this is going to be from Lucas070. Morning, Domez. How was your Christmas, buddy? Hope you had a good one. Oh, that loaded up quick. So yeah, here we go. This is the, again, uh, very outdated Ebex Habitat from Lucas070. And yeah, this is a very quick build, but um, doesn't need to be anything fancy because, oh my God, look at the scale of it. That's really impressive, actually, to get them to like fit into that. Um, it sucks that it's this small, right? Like from a conservation or, you know, animal welfare sta uh, standpoint but yeah no this looks correct doesn't it <laughs> like if you look up any old time uh photos or videos of zoos and stuff you always see that yeah they're, they're very very small what does he have in his mouth always oh, the grab thing so there you go oh, look at the scale right there that's crazy that he was able to get them to go up there and stuff so there you go there's the alpine maybe uh, someone could start uh, use this as a starting point and um, use this as inspiration and build a really old time, like 1930s, you know, 1920s type zoo with a lot of uh, old timey type habitats in it. So but there you go. Really, really good job from Lucas with the um, out of date Ebex habitat. It is, yeah, uh, It's. I would like to see how they built that Jurassic because it's, it's really, really small. It's very tiny. 
Very tiny, tiny, tiny. Let's keep it with Lucas here. We'll go to um, his diorama series. This is going to be the Everglades. It looks, it does, right? Lula? Yep, looks just like old zoos. Um, unfortunately, it wasn't. It was supposed to travel. Yeah, I remember you mentioning that um, to the U.S. Arizona, but PCR test came back positive. Oh, no, no symptoms, and I'm fine. This trip is um, gone and quarantined. Oh, so you're asymptomatic, maybe, or whatever. It came back positive, so it's a big bummer. Sorry, buddy. I'm glad you're not uh, symptomatic, though. You know, if you uh, really are positive. But, oh, man. Medieval photos, yeah. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look here at the Everglades uh, diorama from Lucas. And, oh, man, it looks really cool. Love the amount of um, crocs, or alligators, excuse me, that they put in here. Look at this. This looks awesome. Yeah, whenever, like, I've seen, um, not wild ones, but in Disney's Animal Kingdom, when I've done the... Uh, so uh, the Kilimanjaro safaris and you see the I think they're crocodiles in there but um either one uh, there are there's always a big huge masses of them uh, huddled together uh down by the uh, the water side and everything so I like that he added in a whole lot of them but yeah love all the details of the foliage and everything it looks really really nice and a nice collection for the one two three four five six seven up to seven different dioramas now so if you want to take a deep detailed look at uh, all of them download this file and take a look there i love that he keeps adding on to these pretty awesome feels like florida yeah exactly right yeah epic foliage work yep all right next up there we go next up next up next up let's take a look at ash zoo this is from moonlight it's TAF. It is very TAF, yes. That's some thick ass foliage. <laughs> All right, so we're going to be taking a look at Ash Zoo. I think this is not a complete zoo. But it has been, uh, we've taken a look at it before and there's been an update to it. Ah, this. You ever feel like the strongest person in the world after you finish a pop can and you squish it, like with one hand? You're just like, Rah! I am all that is man. <laughs> uh, but yeah, no, we had a, we had a pretty uh, long day yesterday with Christmas. We, um, we woke up really, really early. We didn't need to wake up as early as we did, but I think it was just because we knew we had like such a long day ahead of us. It was just kind of like, all right, you know, it's like 6, 6.30 in the morning. It's like, eh, fuck it. We're going to wake up. <laughs> but uh, yeah, went over to my mom's place nice and early, had big breakfast. That's how we always start. Every single year, we always have a big breakfast first. And then once everyone's pretty much wrapped up, we pick one person to be Santa. And they hand out all the gifts and yeah we we said this year because it was a little bit of a tough year financially for a lot of uh people in the family that we were not going to do gifts so we we still brought gifts over and we gave everyone in the family some uh, little starbucks gift cards and little things like that but gosh my mom of course we get over there and the tree is just full of presents and they're all from her to like you know everyone else and it's like mom oh don't worry about it i'm fine okay <laughs> you spent the last two years on this and it's still not finished holy cow it is definitely loading like a uh, two-year-old zoo <laughs> come on ash zoo i believe in you uh oh the monkey stopped monkeying he's no longer a monkey he's now a statue there he goes hey return from statue to monkey let's go ahead and pause the zoo oh that's better all right so welcome everyone to ash zoo holy cow 
All right, so we're going to take a nice flyover, take a look at what we have going on. Look, it's all decorated for uh, Christmas. So like, it was a good day. Yep. No, we had a really fun day. Yeah, and then we had a, I guess to finish up my quick story with that. Yeah, then we had a uh, Christmas dinner at around uh, 2 or 3 o'clock. And there was so much food. Oh, my gosh. So, so much food. We have uh, enough uh, take-home leftovers for uh, for weeks. <laughs> But look at this entrance puzzle. Love this. This is really nice. Got the flamingos hanging out in front there. Yeah, the really nice modern architecture. At the front area of the zoo. Big open plaza. Looks like you can choose two different ways when you come in. A little bit of like Chester Zoo influence here, it looks like, a little bit. Like a... Not quite finished yet, but uh pen for oh the uh, gibbons or not gibbons that'd be great wouldn't it what are these called mandrels there we go mandrels i haven't used mandrels in a long time holy cow let's head over to the right hand side nice statues this is cool is this uh looks like an african side head into the interior wow and you got your otters hanging out Yeah, lots of detail put into this place, huh? Very nicely done. The mangroves. Got some like custom um, sets there. Oh, penguins. Oh, how do we get there? Oh, okay. Oh, this is cool. Oh, he used, um, who is this, Toves? His nesting set. I remember when we uh, looked at that. That's really uh, cool use of it. I see you're starting to put in the decals too. A little bit of bricks coming out. Yeah. Yeah, I heard that they removed that um, Harry, which um, I get it. Like it only covered like a quarter of the zoo or something like that. So it was not really feasible, but it was still a really cool uh, piece of it there. There you go, nice. Looking good. Big old interior throughout here. Was that like a manatee? Almost looks like a manatee. Oh, that's a cool uh, use of the steps there. All right, how do we get out? Like that. <laughs> All right, uh, next little bit here. Let's head down the pathway this way. Looks like a lot of this is roped off over this way, so we won't go over there. We'll look at unfinished things. Ooh, look at that. Oh, this is really nice. Got the orangutan islands. Half the city in the background looks cool. It even has a big old interior there. Still in the construction a little bit. Oh, you got your gorillas in the back here. Gorilla Island. Now that doesn't look too finished. Let's see, where are we at? Um, I can't tell where we're supposed to look. Uh, yeah, all that doesn't look too done. So, yeah, I think that we got a pretty good look at... Oh, maybe some stuff down here. A pretty good look at the bulk of what's kind of more done for Ash Zoo. So, yeah, really, really cool stuff there. And um, can't wait to see more of it when it's uh, finished up a little more and everything. So, yeah, no, really good progress so far, though. Awesome stuff. Real labor of love. Yeah, it is, right? Yeah, there's a lot of really cool ideas and projects all over the place. and Yeah, really cool.
Next zoo. Let's do the thumbnail zoo, shall we? Let's do the thumbnail zoo, which is going to be uh, there. It is the Ganae or Gannet peak uh, season one out of two. <clears throat> this is a really, really uh, well done zoo. I really like it. You do have to have some scenery mods to run it. But I, uh, if I remember, I think it's just the Africa pack. I'm starting a new zoo. What should I call it? Asks Virginia. What, let's get some new zoo names for Virginia there. Let's see. Um, <laughs> I'm terrible with zoo names. Like, absolutely terrible. Uh, look at my new series I just started. The Planet Zoo Europe Pack. Mini Zoo. That's what's what I named it. I'm like, well, this zoo's for the Europe Pack. And it's going to be a mini zoo with only like five animals or four animals in it. So it's the Planet Zoo Europe Pack Mini Zoo. So don't ask me. I'm terrible with names. Speaking of, I know I took a few days off from uploading videos um, these past few days, but that was that was for the holidays. Uh, we have been pretty busy or just kind of relaxing around the house, to be honest with you. Um, kind of enjoying these few days off that we've uh, felt good. Because, again, if you didn't know, we had COVID the last few weeks. So we were off for that, but it wasn't a, a fun being off. We were sick and not... No. <laughs> so, but it was, yeah. Um, anyways, long story short, uh, I will have videos coming up back up on the channel uh, probably starting tomorrow. I'm going to try and set aside tonight to really get building in Planet Z, Planet Zoo, and the Planet Zoo uh, Europe Pack Mini Zoo. But I'm also very addicted to the Oculus Quest 2 right now. <laughs> I did just get a brand new toy yesterday, so it's been a lot of fun kind of messing around with that. So yeah, I'll say tentatively upload a video tomorrow, but for sure there will be new videos coming out um, this coming week. For sure, for sure. So cool, let's go ahead and take a look at Gane Peak Zoo or Gannet Peak Zoo. And this is gonna be from uh, Andrea Gideon 607, I believe. I think that's how you say their name. If not, apologies, but yeah, look at this. Really, really um, well done stuff here. So let's take a look at this zoo here. This is uh, pretty much done, but I think they want to expand out a little bit more. So yeah, as we come in, really big open uh, plazas, open pathways, a lot of room to walk around. Look at all the good use of foliage. Holy cow. Really nice foliage work. Very realistic feeling zoo, isn't it? So you got the bison hanging out there. Let's go to the left. We'll go left to right. All right, Moonlight, have a good one. Thanks for uh, submitting your zoo. It looked really good. Can't wait to see the next update. Let's go into the reptile house here. It looks really cool. Uh oh, the billboards didn't up, um, aren't working for some reason. That's some thick ass bullies. You're not wrong. <laughs> oh, it's cool. Look at all the uh, interesting facts. Wow, there you go. There's a sense of the scale with the person there. Yeah, a lot of great details throughout here. Turtles, turtles. <laughs> oh, really cool. I like how it opens up like that. Here's your reptile house. Let's go across. We have Australia. I like the look of the Australia sign. That's fun. Australia house. Yeah. So uh, we're going through this way. Wow. No, your was a sarcophilus. Is that a Tasmanian devil? Wow, that's a. Is that a billboard? Okay, so yeah, there you go. So some of the billboards are working. Just some of them, other ones aren't. Let's say there's no way that's not a billboard, right? I mean, I don't know. Some people are like just Goron are pretty nuts when it comes to making uh, billboards in this game. They may be able to make that. <laughs> How do you um, add billboards? You um, put. Save the image file in uh, Documents, Frontier Developments, Planet Zoo, User Media. This is really uh, vibrant. I love the look of this. So yeah, very similar to Planet Coaster. So you got your koalas. Have a little outdoor yard for it as well. Let's back up a little bit. Here's our cassowaries. Shared cassowary yard.
Then you have this walkthrough exhibit, looks like. What is this for? Roo Valley, Kangaroo Valley. Oh, okay, so they're walking through with the other yeah, there. There's the kangaroos hanging out with them. I, read, I think I heard people say that there are like kangaroo walkthroughs like this, right? But only for a certain kind of uh, kangaroo. Oh, look at the uh, joeys. <laughs> I actually haven't seen the, the joeys in game. Awesome. All right, let's head back out. A lot to look at. We're going to go a little bit, get a little bit quicker. Probably going to miss some things, but that's why you all need to download this and check it out yourselves there. Whoa, look at that. We have uh, Michelle's Indonesian jungle. Whoa, huge building. Huge building here. Holy foliage. There's a wealth of species here. Oh, plus they're all over the golf courses anyways. <laughs> nice. Can you imagine a kangaroo playing golf? Just imagine it with like some sunshades on. Just teeing up. <clears throat> wow, that's pretty that's pretty impressive right there. The Indonesian jungle. Let's keep flying over. Looks like we're like in an India section. Here's some Indian elephants. Oops, we're going the wrong way. Because there's these, uh, yeah, here you go. Elephant Falls, that looks really cool. Elephants Falls. <laughs> Fair way, Frank, yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. Indian Rhinos. Yeah, wow, really nice. Keep ahead, let's head back uh, over this way. We skip this area over here. This is like the aquatic pack update. And again, it's really cool to see with um, these really long-term zoos. Because you can almost like see when the updates dropped for certain parts of the zoos. Madagascar, here we go. Admission. Oh, it's an upcharge thing. Oh, look at the interior here. That's so cool. All right, I'll head back over here. So we went that way, went over there. This is like a North America section over this way. Polar bears. Oh, we're actually kind of near where the thumbnail was taken. Oh, really good. Uh, like gardening almost. I think this is part of a habitat, but it looks almost like gardening. What is in here? Oh, the uh, prairie dogs. There you go. See the little holes. Here's the beavers. Got some underwater viewing for the beavers. I still love that we have beavers in game. It's almost one of those things that's like, dang, we have beavers in game. <laughs> and yeah, this is where the thumbnail picture was taken because there's a whole bunch of cool stuff here. You have the uh, reindeer down there, some wolves across from them. Yeah, really, really well done. Oh, I didn't even see this. There's a uh, crossing here. Hey, Martin, we're doing pretty well. Uh, welcome on in, buddy. I didn't even see this. Who's this for? Some sort of carnivore. Huh, I don't see him. Anyways. Oh, wow, it keeps on going. <laughs> oh yeah, we have with this last little section over here. And then, yeah, kind of uh, dead ends over in this really cool section over in this way. That's where they're going to um, pick up the update for the second half there. So, but yeah, there you go. There's the uh, quick little overview of Gannett um, Peak Season. One out of two from Andrea um, Donnie, 607. And, yeah, really, really good work. That's Look at that. They've crammed a lot into about a quarter of the map so far. So, awesome. Really good stuff. Oops, I don't want to save this. <laughs> I just want to exit back. In summer, I played some mini golf and there was like ducks all over the course. You had to be careful not to hit one. Oh no, you get 10 points. I think you get 10 points if you hit one. Yeah, beautiful foliage work. Yes, I agree. I agree. All right, and then there were three. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at uh, Zoologisk. Tradgard Island. 
apologies, BHK and others of that native tongue. I'm terrible. I cannot pronounce it. But yeah, this is going to be from BHK. You get to see where a lot of the blueprint items uh, came from. <laughs> Getting here a lot of quacking, yeah. Ow! Quack! Oh my gosh, I forgot. I just... A co-worker on Friday brought in these little Christmas cups. And they filled them with a bunch of candy, and I totally forgot that I um, didn't eat two of the Hershey Kisses in there. I love Hershey Kisses. Mmm. <laughs> and this is loaded up in the meantime. All right. Do I pause it because I'm getting 15 FPS? All right, let's go ahead and take a look at, excuse me, Zoologist uh, Trodgard Island from BHK. And I think, um, if I remember it from the description, you said this was set in, oh, let me bring it up real quick. Let me bring it up real quick, because you had a cool little backstory to it. There it is. Got lucky on that one. Uh, this is a zoo located on the Åland Ar um, Archipelago between Sweden and Finland. What was added? Foliage around the Australia house, uh, decoration inside the tundra house, foliage near the tundra house, doll sheep habitat, aviaries for a toucan and a macaw, flamingo habitat, anteater habitat, moose habitat, and Bintarang and Babarusa combined habitat. So there you go, between Sweden and Finland. Clarify a few things about the basin from last time there aren't any fish in there it's just cold water with stone which is good for health all right let's head on in what does this mean welcome hello hello <laughs> again really nice entrance plaza as you come in love these swedish flag colors nice restaurant looking over the lake area or the straits there's our uh Seals. Look at interiors over here. It really does not. The game hates going over here. <laughs> Absolutely hates going over here. It is lagging so much. Means tickets. Ah, tickets. TIL. Love the domes though. Looks really nice. Poke our head in real quick. The Australia Australia house. Ah, oh, very nice interior. Oh yeah, I like it a lot actually. All the open glass and everything. You have all that natural sunlight come in. Looks really good. Path, here's the ducks. All right, go ahead and take aim for mini putt. Nope, oh, they're all in boxes. What do we have? Oh, here's the Binturong uh, shared exhibit. I love all the vibrant colors for all the buildings and chairs and see all the reds and everything. This is a really cool view right here. With the fountains and the playground and the lake in the background. That's a really great view. I love that uh, playground. Here's the macaws and toucans. Really nice aviary. Houses of well They did, yeah. Yeah, I agree. Yep. Got the reindeer there. Kind of changing foliage up a little bit. Change, going into a different forest biome here. Tundra house. This is cool. We don't see many of these. Don't see many like tundra type houses. So that's a cool addition.
Ah, it's a cool design with the shadows and the... What are they, hexagons? Here's Eric Fox hangout. And has a yard behind it. And then you got the sheep across from it. Cool. Now it looks like over here, we won't take too much of a look at it because it looks like it's under construction, but you can see the uh, some more aviaries right on the edge of the zoo area here. So here's the flamingos. All right, let's do a big zoom out here. I want to take a look at Yeah, so we did... Uh, do a Sparks note, Spark Notes version of it, but yeah, very nice uh, start or very nice updates uh, to the project here, and hopefully get some new updates so we can look at there in the next um, little while. But yeah, so far really, really good, uh, good updates and everything on it. A lot to explore in there. Like I love all the colors, all the vibrant colors and the, of the reds and the blues and everything. Really, really nice. So cool, 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 cool. All right, and then there was two. Let's go ahead and do Sugar Pine 2. Because there's two left, we'll do this one, the second to last. Uh, this is going to be from Leaf. Leaf, who is in Florida at the moment, I believe at Disney World on vacation. Lucky son of a gun. <laughs> but yeah, this is Sugar Pine 2 from Leaf. And all he said was, did I send this in? I don't think I sent this in. I'm going to send this in. I think that was almost exactly what they said in their captions when they uh, sent this in. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited about this Hershey Kisses find. You have no idea. Yeah, I'm not even sure what this, um... Sent in his relief house. Uh, it's like a poop joke. Uh. <laughs> I'm not too, sh too sure what to expect from this. Am I going to share? No, I ate a wallet myself. You don't get none. You wouldn't want that anyways. It was a peppermint Hershey kiss. I didn't think they made those. Oh my gosh, there it is. Have you ever tried peppermint kisses? I like those with hot chocolate. I, I didn't know that's what it was. That was going to be a white chocolate uh, Hershey kiss. Because it was, uh, you know, striped like a peppermint or a candy cane. I didn't think it was going to have bits of candy cane in it or peppermint in it. Yeah, I thought it was, was white chocolate. I, I, it took me by surprise. Maybe I like it. I don't know. I got to try another one. There's one more left. That's the last one. The last thing in here is a little... She gave us little pendants, little Christmas pendants at the bottom of the cup as well, which is pretty nice, but between you and me, the main thing I want is... Uh... <laughs> I appreciate the pendant with my name on it, but I really want the candy. All right. Yeah, this one's a peppermint one as well. Let me let me give it a try now that I know I'm getting myself into. Sounds gross. If we don't like peppermint, yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't like it. <laughs> I don't think I like it. All right. Let's see what the heck Leaf has been up to. Oh, my God. Wait. Oh, we're going to do a cinematic reveal. It's totally a cinematic reveal. Here we go. Ready? Trigger Pine Zoo 2 from Leaf. I think that he has a tour of this up on his channel as well. I'm almost positive. Oh, there it is. Oh, man. No, this this tree ruined it. This tree totally ruined it. All right, we're going to try again. All right, ready? Here we go. Ready? One, two, three. Oh, we'll do it like this. Very slow. 
That's how I do cinematics. You turn your edge scrolling all the way down. This is the S stand trick. You turn your edge scrolling all the way down and just barely put your mouse at the edge. Boom, there you go. Now we have this really awesome slow panning of the camera over it all. This looks awesome. Holy shnikes. I was going to let it pan like this. We're getting a really good look at the entire zoo and all the work that they did. Don't tell me like uh, peppermint, but these are actually decent. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't it, was, it wasn't, it was a bit bad. <laughs> Not my favorite. I like the, the, um, the shade structure coming up on the like lower left there. Pretty cool. Is it aesthetically pleasing, isn't it? So yeah, again, uh, go to your settings, turn your edge scrolling on, and then turn the edge scrolling like almost all the way down. And then, yeah, of course it helps when you're looking at a leaf project because leaf is an amazing builder. We'll do that going this way too. And you know, we'll do it even more. We'll do Alt F3 and I'll turn on No, not depth of field. I'll turn on uh, uh, G-Force or whatever it's called. Bring the details down a little bit. Tone. And it should do it. Alt F3 back out. F4 for that. There, you can see all that. Yeah, it looks a little bit better. Ready? Turn off all the graphics, graphic enhancements, and now we'll just barely coast to the left. No, no, just barely. Just, just a little t -t 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 tap. There we go. There it is, right there, bam. <laughs> nice, Harry. Look at this zoo, this is amazing looking. There's a ton of detail in here. We are not gonna be able to see it all, but hopefully we get a general feel of it. Very North American feel. Love it, love it, love it. Love the mountain behind INL, right? The landscape work was really done well. I think this was the project they were doing that was taking the, one of the franchise maps or one of the campaign maps and like redoing it up. And yeah, they did a really, really good job. So, all right, let's go down this way. Is this like the entrance area? Yeah, there we go. Uh oh, I don't know if there's some uh, things, some billboards I didn't get. Of Rudy's Yosemite Valley? Yeah, a little bit, right? Yeah, I can see that. Chucks drinks and food. I like that. Chucks. <laughs> yep, messing around with the terrain can yield some really nice results. Really great foliage work. The habitats are awesome. Really creative uh, ideas for them as well. Good use of workshop items as well. Are those elephants down to the right? Yeah. Oh no, they're moose. Just kidding. Huh. Elephant moose, you know. But holy cow, yeah. Look at all this. Love that viewing structure right there. Well, that's cool. Look at the old like abandoned uh, railroad. Big old habitat with a yeah, abandoned railroad in the middle of it, like an old mining area. See, all the uh, viewing areas and habitats themselves are so detailed out. Got a really cool, unique style. I love this up here with the water tower. In the bow, look at that! It's like an Antarctic section. Love the way the 
foliage pops with the blues and all that. There you go. Here's a polar bear. This is, this is one of my favorite habitats I've ever seen. Straight up. That's one of my favorite habitats and areas I've ever seen. That's so good. Back this way. You seen the zoo on YouTube before? Yeah, there's a lot of areas now that we're going through them. I'm recognizing from his uh, his channel and everything. So yeah, be sure y'all are subscribed to uh, Leaf. One, just because you need to be. He makes amazing content like this all the time. And two, he's, he's almost to 5,000 subscribers. It's crazy. He's so close to 5K. But yeah, go sub to uh, Leaf there. Check out all the um, makings of this zoo. And he does like cinematic tours and all that kind of fun stuff. Look at that. So there you go. There is <clears throat> Sugar Pine 2 from Leaf. And yes, I know I missed like a lot of details, a whole bunch of stuff. We get to do an entire community showcase just on this zoo alone because of how detailed it is. So that's where I'm going to leave it to you all to go and download it and check out all the amazing details for yourselves there. But cool, let's go ahead and jump out of here. We're going to go into the last zoo for the day to wrap up today's showcase. And that is going to be, I don't know, I don't have it on the list over there, but I'm pretty sure there's one more. All right, I'm going to turn off the video thing. Warden Glade National Park. Whose is this? Why don't I have it in there? Warden Glade National Park. Created by Bethany H264. I'm not sure why I don't have it in the list. Um, I think we may have looked at this already. Maybe that's why. Uh, okay, so never mind. We did it! <laughs> <laughs> uh, we we did it there. So uh, I'll just load up this real quick as a little send-off. So yeah, hey, there we go. Uh, thanks everyone for hanging out for the um, for the showcase. It was a really, really good one. It was a really long one. We had a whole bunch of stuff to uh, look over today. So uh, are, are you really late? Yeah, you are there, um, Average Ramen. Uh, we were actually pretty much wrapped up. We were actually wrapping up for the day uh, entirely. I'm just loading into my uh, mini Europe pack zoo. Uh, just to have something out in the background while I kind of sign off. <laughs> um, so, but yeah, no, hey, uh, thanks everyone for hanging out. Always appreciate you. If you're not already, please join the Discord and you can go ahead and submit your items there uh, to be viewed um, pretty much every single uh, Sunday at 1 p.m. Central Standard Time. That's 2 p.m. Uh, Eastern. And uh, yeah, we should go ahead and show off uh, mods. We show off, you know, zoos, whether they're complete or not fully complete. Um, you name it, we'll kind of show it off there. So uh, be sure to join the Discord and uh, yeah, submit your items. And also we have a lot of fun people, sh you know, sharing their uh, builds and stuff on the share your work section. Get feedback on that. A lot of people give feedback if you're looking for it as well. So we have a really fun community over there. So if you're looking for a fun planet zoo, um, kind of creative community, go ahead and join on in over there. So, but hey, cool. I'm going to go ahead and take off for the day. And yeah, you all uh, have a great rest of your week. Don't forget, look out on the channel for uh, videos. If I am uploading a video for the day, it will be up at 11 a.m. Central Standard Time, which is 12 p.m. Uh, Eastern. That is the time that yeah I've kind of designated for uploads to go live. So look out on the channel around that time for videos and everything. So awesome. Hey, thanks everyone for hanging out. Always appreciate you. And yeah, until the next um, video or showcase, y'all have a good one.